What I liked about what they were trying to do is I felt that it could solve issues that could have fixed Venezuela, could have fixed Zimbabwe, that if these issues were there, we wouldn't have those issues that are there in those countries. And I'll just explain. So the biggest issue that we have with when governments essentially break down is that it's the innocent people that suffer. You know, when an entire government breaks down, it's not the president who automatically becomes poorer. It's actually the people that, you know, did not know anything, um, were innocent, the teachers, the nurses, the citizens that are just mere citizens. They're the ones that get affected the most. So the good thing about putting currency on a blockchain is that you sort of, you, you make it a controllable system that's transparent to everybody. And even if, let's say for example, they decide it's not gonna be transparent to the mere man, the fact that it's transparent to the banks, financial systems, as well as the Reserve Bank of the country, it's, it's, a, it's, it's one step in the right direction because we have transparency going on. Currently we have a system where, where politics is not trusted, currency dies, and it ends up derailing everything. Whereas trying to move the powers away to say, as government, you're there to regulate, but we have a system that regulates itself and is very transparent to the people. So it's, it's very futuristic and it might be like, oh, whoa, but in, 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 an, in behind it, the whole point is to say, how do we get financial power to sort of move away from a reserve? For example, in South Africa, when we speak about the, what's currently happening with our reserve bank, um, do we nationalize? Is it, is it going to continue being privatized, et cetera, et cetera? A lot of uncertainty comes because people feel like the moment we change the power, it's the power that's ruling. It's not, we don't care about the rand or whatever, it's the power. The moment we nationalize it is the fact that government will be ruling, and that's what we're very afraid of. So in moving things over to a blockchain, what we're trying to say is we move power away from the one person that can corrupt something, and we move it more into a distributed shared ledger where control is, is, is more based on demand, supply, transparency. People are able to see what's actually going on.